had a, uh, a pop can and I had shaved all the paint off of it. Uh, I had uh, consumed the pop in front of your peers last period. And then I uh, put it down into a beaker and was slowly adding acid to it. As we added acid to it, we could see that the pop can was being dissolved. Uh, the acid was becoming cloudy uh, with the uh, uh, aluminum that was flaking off the can. And uh, we could see bubbles being given off. I told you it was hydrogen gas. You kind of have to trust me on that one. We, uh, we've done it previously in the lab where we put a metal into an acid and had it release hydrogen gas. Uh, but we didn't actually verify in front of you that it was hydrogen gas, but it was. Uh, and I kept adding acid throughout the day. And by about eight, ninth period yesterday, it was mostly done. Um, uh, I let it run a little bit overnight still, uh, and then this morning came in and rinsed out the containers just to make them safer for me to handle. And so what's in the containers now is water and not the strong acid, uh, but all I did was pour out the acid, neutralized it before flushing it down the drain, and then added water to take its place. Uh, and so now these beakers have what's left of the pop cans and water uh, in there uh, in them. So. Huh. Here you can see the the uh, uh, remains of the can up top there, and I still have the stir rod in here. So if you'll let me just uh, lift this out of the beaker. You can see the, the pop can. Uh, now, this isn't a ghost can. This isn't the ghost of the can here uh, uh, to visit us again or anything like that. Instead, what it is is pop, as we said yesterday, is... Carbonated. carbonated, which makes it slightly acidic, and pop also has phosphoric acid in it, which makes it acidic as well. And so uh, there's an acid in there, and the acid, just like the hydrochloric acid I used yesterday, would eat through the can. And so what they do is they spray a plastic lining inside the can uh, to keep the acid of your pop from eating through the can. And so when we dissolve away all the acid, we're left with the plastic lining. Now, this was the one that was bubbling a lot yesterday, had the big bubbles that caused it to rock, and that ended up rush, rupturing this plastic sack. And so we have a hole here, which is why it's leaking out the bottom. Uh, but this here is the plastic sack inside your pop can. Uh, and um, uh, they use this again to keep your uh, pop from eating through the can. Uh, the other one ripped while I was rinsing it. And so uh, it's in there. But here's the can. There's a little bit of the plastic left there, uh, but most of it has ripped away instead. Oh, big mess there. Here's the bottom, and it has the plastic attached. <clears throat> I will pass this around so you can handle it, but you can see here the plastic is a really thin plastic. I'd compare it to, say, maybe um, uh, a thin um, shopping sack, uh, uh, a thin grocery bag, uh, um, uh, uh, but it's obviously transparent. You can see through it. Uh, and of course there is still the pop can bottom here. Of course the bottom, remember, is concave and so it's actually, this is the bottom with the plastic being up this way. But it is fairly fragile so do handle it carefully as I pass it around.